This could be the key to solving the mystery of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. Out of the hydraulics running. An underwater piece of equipment that works in the deep sea called a remotely operating vehicle, ROV for short. It's what the Malaysian government has added to its fleet of resources in hopes of recovering some of the most critical pieces of evidence from the deep sea. Well, the two key pieces of evidence that outweigh all other evidence are the flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder. Helix Canyon Offshore gave CNN an exclusive look at the ROV Triton XLS. Uh, are you getting a signal on the ROV beacons as well? The multi-million dollar machine is tethered to a vessel. Dropped into the water by a cable. We have an altitude of 28 meters. And slowly, remotely lowered to the sea floor by pilots in a control room located inside the ship. Bridge ROV. The ROV is equipped with cameras. Two cameras here on the, your pilot monitor and your co-pilot monitor. Meaning an ROV like this one could lay the first eyes on the wreckage site of MH370. The wreckage can tell you how it impacted uh, or how it came apart. Uh, it could certainly tell you if certain parts were, were burned. Um, it can tell you a very complete story. Metal arms and jaws are controlled by a joystick. You can open and close the jaws, stuff like a black box, uh, not a problem at all for an ROV to pick it up, put it in a basket and recover it back to the vessel. But before the data recorders are recovered, the wreckage must be located, a task as daunting as the Indian Ocean is deep.